Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline for Wednesday of Holy Week. Um, I'm very grateful to Bob Heath-White for uh, doing our services yesterday and, um, and also for preaching at this morning's communion. So thank you, Bob. Um, we prepare to pray, to set the day behind us, to lay everything at God's feet and to pray for the world. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who Amen. made heaven Amen. and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath, our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. 
I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication upon the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I, I commend, commend my, my spirit. spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I, I commend, commend my, my spirit. spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide, Hide me, me under, under the, the shadow, shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us pray. And we give thanks for the end of another day, for all that is good in the world alongside all of the risks for the grace of God for his everlasting love Lord in your mercy hear our prayer And we pray for those who are in any sort of need. We pray especially for all who are affected by the coronavirus. Praying for Margaret Whip, for her continued improvement. for grace, for good health. And for comfort, we pray for Keith and his children, giving thanks that, though very ill, he hasn't needed ventilation We pray for anyone in our village affected by this virus. And we pray for all who are mourning because of it. Remembering those who have died this day across the world and especially in our nation. And we pray for emergency services, for the NHS workers, for care home workers, for the police, and especially for funeral directors and for crematorium workers in the coming week as we reach peak mortality. Lord, keep these people safe, calm their fears, and give them courage and endurance. 
Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. prayer. And we pray in this period of lockdown for all those who are affected in any way whatsoever by it, but we remember especially those who live in unhappy situations at the best of times. For those who are poor and thus are struggling to entertain themselves or their children. For those who live in fear of emotional, psychological or physical abuse. For those who need help, but because of the lockdown are finding it difficult to access that help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray also for those families who are bereaved, but not because of the virus. And ask that they would know that they are not lost in God's sight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For, For you, you alone, Lord, Lord make us dwell in safety. safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. The, the night, night is at hand and the day is now past. past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do we, we look, look for you, O Christ. Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, God, God bless you. Stay safe. Stay well. Uh, in terms of tomorrow's worship, um, Jennifer Thompson will be saying morning prayer, and we're very glad to welcome her. And um, and in the evening, um, instead of a complain, I will um, I will upload a communion service because tomorrow, being Monday Thursday, is the anniversary of the, um, well, it's the commemoration of the uh, First Communion, the Last Supper. So good night. God bless.